Hand coding features of a website that are fully responsive can be a pretty tedious task, especially if you are wanting to experiment with different styles, effects, or need special adjustments um, for elements at certain screen sizes. Even the most experienced web developers can feel their creativity be limited for trying new things when so focused on code syntax. Site Designer is a huge help in this regard. You can quickly whip up site features visually while trying out all sorts of fresh styles and actions. Once your item is looking great, you can export it to the HTML editor to use within a new website or apply it to an existing project. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to import a site designer component into the HTML editor. In this tutorial, I'm going to use a pre-built component available in Site Designer's component library. Of course, these instructions would work um, on any element or combination of elements you're working on, um, so you're not limited to just the pre-built ones. This background video component is one of my personal favorites, so I'm going to use this in this example. Select it and choose Add to Project. The component will appear under the Element Pane component section. To add it to the page, select the plus arrow or choose Insert into Canvas. Moving the viewport slider, you can see how the component has a still background image for smaller devices, while for larger screens, a video file um, displays. In Site Designer, the video file will be served from the Coffee Cup Vimeo channel. The video platform logo will appear on the canvas. You can see it in the background. But if we preview within the browser, you can see that video uh, file in action. When ready to send your component to the HTML editor, you'll hit the Export button located in the top toolbar. You'll be prompted to save your Site Designer project and choose an export location. Once it exports successfully, open up the HTML editor to pull the files in. I'm going to use a website project to keep my files all organized together. Going to My Websites, New Website Project, I will give the project a name and choose the folder I exported from the site designer. The project files will appear on the left-hand side. Choose the HTML page to view and edit the code as you like. Now, if you're inserting this component into an existing project, it is best to export that component from Site Designer to the same location you have your existing HTML editor project. This way, the files will just pull in instantly. What a huge time saver this is for all you hand coding fans out there.